Hey guys, time to get in on the action for the biggest moments in basketball with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projections, place your entry, and win up to 100 times your money. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use the code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Let's hit it. It's What the Buzz. I'm Joanna Barba, and I'm joined by my co-host, Emily Sleep Murillo. Yes. Hello. Hola. How you been? It's been a while. It's been quite a while. We apologize. Do you know how hard it is to try and get a studio in this station? <laughs> you know, it is a radio station, but people are actually doing their jobs every once in a while. I know. And you know how, like, Duke is on vacation? Yeah. Did he just send everybody, like, a crap ton of production? He probably and was did. like, peace, figure it out while I'm gone. Yeah, he's like, guess what, guys? Figure it out, I, I don't have- know, long. A week? Yeah, we. I yeah. have a lot of production to do. Remind well, me to do that tomorrow. Yeah, oh, you're good, not here Good tomorrow. luck. Yeah, no, I'll be at home. <laughs> I'll send you a message. Like, hey, by the way, remember that production? Do your production, Jen. And write that article, by the way. Um, yeah. I'll just send that to you. Yeah, thank you, because that will remind <laughs> I forgot Articles. Production. <laughs> it really helps when people send me reminders. Yeah, no, I'm all scatterbrained still forever and, then and ever. And I, I write things down, and I'll still forget. Yeah, or I throw it away. That's me. I almost forgot to put in our winners for like the Pucifer and Dorothy ticket winners. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you got them our in. poor Anne had to be like, hey, did you guys have winners? <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Anne, can you call this person? She's like, oh, yeah, I'm all, I forgot. I'm sorry. She's like, okay, <laughs> I got it. So, thank you, so Anne. Nice. Shout yeah, out to Anne in front. She's great. When you come to the station to pick up tickets, that's who you deal with. Be nice to yeah, her. Yeah, be nice to or her. Or else. Yeah, and don't lie to her either. Don't try to come in here and say, I want tickets. You know what really irks me? What? So you know that day that I filled in in the front desk for a few hours? Yeah. We had winners that were supposed to be coming in for Chihuahua's tickets and for some concert. No. Uh, Latin Kings of Comedy tickets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nobody, in the three hours that I was there, nobody came in. And it was like, it was a Friday, so it was the final day for people to come in to get yeah. them because the Chihuahuas game was that night and the Latin Kings were the next day. And yeah. nobody came in to pick them up. And I'm all, why are we giving out these tickets if none of you are going to come pick them up? They're not in a rush. Or they do like, like come in last minute and they'll call and be like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Can you guys go ahead and, and just hold them for me? And it's not like going to be waiting for your ass. No, to usually get what, what we do is whoever is working afternoons. We'll oh, let them okay. know and say, hey, so-and-so. Look at that. We still called. go? Yeah. We still go the extra mile to say, hey, so and so is going to come pick up the tickets, but they're going to come to the side door, uh-huh. so if you hear them knocking, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. Sometimes so we do mad. that. Yeah. I also get mad when we give away tickets on air, and then I get a winner, and they go, what did I win? Oh, yeah. that They don't even know what they win. They don't know what they won. Or sometimes I'll be like, can I get something else? No, dude, you called in for these. No, no you're not going to get something else. Unless it's when Buzz is like, okay, I got like three different things. Yeah, when he he has to specifically say, though, like, mm-hmm. I have these different, you get to choose from yeah. what's there. Yeah. But not when it's like specifically Wet and Wild tickets or Pucifer tickets. Yeah, and then you're like, wait, I don't even know who that band is. Can I get somebody else? <sighs> no, and I hate it. No. I can't just be like, you know what? Screw you. I'm going to go to the next caller. Yeah, you have to no. be nice about it. I have to give you the tickets because you're with the right caller. Yeah, but fine. Pick what them is up wrong with you or people? don't. Just let us know, guys. Just let us know. There's some people out there who do want the tickets. Yeah, then we can give them away again or something like that. Just tell yeah. us. Give us a heads up. Yeah. Be nice about it. It'd be nice. Don't be douches about it. That's what makes radio different. Yeah, we care. We care. We still give you the opportunity to win tickets to things. And we will give you the opportunity, apparently, to come and pick them up at your leisure. It depends, yeah, who's who's being nice about it. Yeah, if I were in the afternoons, I'd be like, no, screw that guy. They didn't pick him up while Anne was here. (laughs) Go to hell. Yeah, then no. It's not going to happen. Most of the time, it does not happen. It's those who are like, I'm on my way. I just got out of work. And Mm -hmm. we feel sorry for them. We're like, fine. We're going to leave them with <laughs> Daniel. Daniel will go ahead Daniel and have them for you. Daniel will give you your tickets. That happens nice. mostly when it comes to the Sun Bowl. I think that's when it's the holiday that season. Those are understandable. When, yeah. When everyone's like, hey, we just give away some tickets to Sun Bowl. Or these are last minute mm-hmm. nutcracker tickets. So-and-so's <laughs> coming. Yeah. So it's, though, it's during the holidays. 
that it's mostly fine. Understandable. Everyone's in the the happy mood of okay, we'll give you some extra time. But not when it's Land Kids of Comedy and you won tickets like earlier in the week. And you're still and you yeah, you still did not pick week, them up. And you didn't pick them up. Nah. I was so upset. I was like, really? None of you guys want these tickets? It happens. It was it made me sad. <laughs> You're like, I want these tickets. Yes. I can take I know friends people and family. Who, could have take, who would have wanted those yeah. tickets. No. Uh, but that's life on the rails, I guess. <laughs> I think that's the saying. I don't know. I can't remember the saying. It's something like, <laughs> it's life in paradise, you guys. Yeah. Working in radio. But we're here for another week. Yes. What do you mean another week? I don't know. Just like, I guess I meant to say like another episode of oh, the Buzz. Oh, I was like, are you on vacation? No. <laughs> Not yet. I have like four days off in the next two weeks. I don't have time. True. Like I don't have hours to use. You got to get all them hours while you can. Yeah. So I'm kind of just like racking up hours just just for like, I don't know, later. I save mine for doctor appointments and in September. My family will come in September. So I'm just going to be here. We'll be working the same. We'll be here. Except for weekends. You got to fix that Uh, for you. Except Sundays. Yeah. (laughs) We got to figure out Saturdays Saturdays. for you, man. I don't know. Our boss keeps saying, you're not going to be doing Saturdays all the time. I promise. We need people. We need to hire someone. And for like two weeks, Emily, I didn't work a Saturday. Yeah. It was very nice. You're living the dream. I don't want to sound dramatic, but being able to (laughs) sleep in two days in the row, I'm a changed woman. Yeah. Beautiful. No, I think, yeah, you morning show people really need that extra sleep. (laughs) I think it should be changed. I don't think a morning show person should have to run the best of. But I am not the program director. Right. And we need more people. We, we are short people. staff. We're very short staff. Yeah. So we lost Michelle. Anyone want a want a job? Michelle officially left. The last time we yes, were Yes, we were talking about Michelle. Michelle's gone now. She's gone. She's on to bigger and better things. Oh, she's at KVIA. She's holding or I think she's white balancing in that oh, photo. She's yeah. She's great. And you yeah. know what? It's something that she's really good at. Yes. So I'm very happy for her. We lost a good friend in play. Well, she's still around because she's like, guys, I'm down the street. Yeah, I'm not like, dead. I'm down the street. She's like, I know you're not dead, but we keep saying we lost a friend. She's like, oh. We lost someone important today. Huh? Yeah. I like that she shared that TikTok. She's like, oh, my former employees, how they're acting. And it's a girl crying. <laughs> how, how they feel now that I'm gone. And I was the funniest person they've ever I worked know, with. All, it's so true. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Tis true. I sent you that. It's true. We had like a luncheon for her. At Mesa Street Group, mm-hmm. <laughs> our boss just looks sad the whole time. <laughs> like, what have I done? What have I done? We got a, cowboys coming soon. Yeah. Somebody's got to run that. <laughs> right. Who's going to run that? They're going to have to train somebody to do they that. They are. Our station runs the Cowboys games. We are the official home of Dallas Cowboy football or something yeah. like that. And you know what? People love it. When you t- when there's a game, you can just tune into KLAQ if you're running to get some sodas or ice. Yeah, that's the only time I listen. If I'm going in between hear- houses to watch, and I'm like, okay, there, there it is. Yeah, you can hear. You think it. it's not handy on a radio, rock radio station, right? and all of a sudden you're like, man, I gotta go to the store. I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, it's handy, really great, but it takes a lot of skill to try and run that from our boards, and that's where Michelle came but in. But people don't know that. People don't know that it's the magic of but radio. But if you want to work here, just saying, and you like to push buttons, maybe you could work here. Maybe. Apply now. You can apply now on LinkedIn. <laughs> Not for the morning show spot, though. Don't do that. No. I mean, it's still up there. My friend sends it to me every day. So She's is the all... Kiss FM one. And <laughs> Iris someone at Kiss. was like, hey, are you guys firing me? Oh, no. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. They need to take it down. They need to take it down. But no, Iris. Uh, everyone loves Iris on that morning show. They you have accepted her. It sounds great. Yeah. I, I tune in every now and then. Like, to be like, what's going on over there? You know, we have, like, a little radio in the studios. And they sound great. They sound good. I was like, slowly Iris is going to start sounding very angrily or, I don't know, at at Mike. I can hear it a little bit when he's poking fun at her. Uh And I was like, Mike, back it up, Mike. Mike Because he purposely does that. When he picks on you, they were fighting about, oh, they were fighting about Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Because how, so to, when we're recording this, everyone is still uh, oh, dealing yeah. with the news that Jennifer Lopez is married to Ben Affleck. When this goes up, uh, it will probably probably be already be It'll old be news. old news now, but uh, <laughs> today when we're recording this, um, that's what everyone's talking about. So they were talking mm-hmm. about it. And Iris was kind of giving a little stink to J-Lo and, and oh, Mike was okay. giving a little 
Like, but come on. Like, what do you think? You sh- she should you, sh- you should be happy because everyone's making fun of her for having more rings than the cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're going back That's and hilarious. forth, back and forth. And I was like, ooh, they're going to get feisty eventually. I'm waiting for it's those gonna days. Happen yeah, I'm soon. waiting for it. It happens to all morning shows. It you'll, does. Yeah, you'll get feisty a little. You know, I think that's one of the things that people don't realize. Like, it could sound, I mean, sometimes on air, you can hear when we're fighting. Oh, yeah. Off air. Like, you'll know, like, oh, something's going on between them because they all sound really bad. Yeah. But then there's days where, yeah, we're fighting, but we're not going to let it be known on air. Yeah, you guys sound like professionals. And then I tell them, like, no, we've been fighting all morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone comes in, oh, that was a great show, guys. Like, well, I'm really pissed at Buzz well, today. <laughs> well, I'm still mad at Buzz. There's some times where I, I get mad at Buzz because in the mornings we do our morning meeting like 15 minutes before the show starts. Yeah. And he's just not paying attention sometimes. Still, that hasn't still, changed. That has not changed, no. And he'll wow. be like listening to some clip or watching something on the news. And I'm all, hey, come on, we got to focus on the board. What are we talking about today? And when he doesn't, it just pisses me off so much. Because <laughs> I've got actual things to do back there. You know, I could be doing something yeah. else rather than putting up with Buzz not paying attention. Yeah, it'd be like, fine, then you come up with your ideas. We'll go. As the show goes. Right. Then you figure it out. You figure it out, man. I got entertainment news and that's it. Yeah. That's all I'm helping with. (laughs) But it happens. We see each other every day. Yeah. It weighs on you. It weighs on you. But also, you're not going to be happy and cheery every day. And at like five in the morning, four in the morning. five in the morning. Yeah, right? No. You know, it happens. Everybody has different moods and stuff. And sometimes you don't sleep well. And sometimes you don't eat well. And sometimes Buzz eats in front of you. And it's just gross. That would piss off Brandon so much. Because he'd be eating. And the food would just be (laughs) spewing out of his mouth. (laughs) I don't know how he does that. And then, look. Look at this keyboard. We're in Buzz's studio Ew. today. But his keyboard is like, there's so many little crumbs on it. Yeah, and Monica just wrote an article on that. So Monica of Kiss, where, because she was inspired by Buzz, mm-hmm. because Buzz drank her bubbly oh, by accident a so few dumb. weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, he did. And then today he brought her a case. Oh, how nice. And I even told him, like, what, did you steal a case from her? I thought you just stole one. He's like, whoa, what do you mean? And I just let, let it go. <laughs> he brought her a case of bubbly. He says it's because he couldn't find one individual. One bubbly? Okay. So okay. he just got a case. Well, good for him. He can afford a case of bubbly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so she wrote a whole article. She was like, do you think I should write or ask our listeners what weird things do your coworkers do that bugs the hell out of you? Hell yeah. And I need to go through her comments. But we did get a lot of comments. But people, some of them were like, oh, I hate when they uh, heat up fish in the <gasps> lunchroom. Uh-huh. Or I hate that they burn their popcorn because the smell. So it was mostly smells that oh, yeah. people hated working with people who either burned their popcorn or their fish. I know Trisha used to get so pissed at Mike because Mike likes to play this game where, so like if you're sitting in Buzz's seat, right? Mm-hmm. Or have you been in the kids' studio where Mike when Mike's sitting in there? No. Well, he, he's angled towards a trash can. So mm-hmm. I, uh, probably other people have someone in their office too who loves to just play basketball with their trash can. Uh-huh. So Mike likes to do that with his food. Oh, my. That's why it's, there's so many stains above that trash can. <laughs> Oh, my God. If he has a banana, if he has something, he'll shoot it. Uh-huh. And sometimes he misses. Sometimes it gets all over the place. Right. Sometimes it goes in. And he's, he's a natural. <laughs> right. But that used to irk Trisha a lot. She yeah, it would irk so me, mad. too. <laughs> but then they would cheer if he made it, so. <laughs> it works both oh, ways. It. Yeah, it can brighten up your day or it can piss you off and be like, oh, look, you got all your mocos on the floor now. Cause there's tissues see, or something. We deal with each other every day. <laughs> And some days oh, are a fun better time. than others. Yes. That's you what just coworkers... got to learn everybody's flow and stuff. Yeah, it's a good flow. You Which guys have a good flow. why right I'm now. concerned about bringing in a fourth. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> if you've been on LinkedIn or in Indeed, you'll see that there's a... a... Oh, Google it right now. You'll probably still see it. Yeah. Uh, if you're listening We're to looking this. for a fourth in our throuple. <laughs> and we recently had like a, a demo, I yeah. would say... With somebody who could potentially come in and be our fourth. But before all of that, our bosses are telling us like, oh, well, this person's going to come in. Yeah. You know, you guys are just going to simulate that you're doing a show. Yeah. And then have this person read news and see how it goes. 
And then we're so Nico's asking all these questions like, so what do we do? Or and he's all, you know, just <laughs> go normal. with the flow, act normal. Just yeah. there's somebody else there. And Buzz is all like, well, where are we going to record it? A whole fiasco happened about <laughs> where we were going to record it. In the end, I was like, we could just do it in your studio. All four of us fit there. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, that was funny. I was like, you guys forgot there's a mic on the side or what? And Yeah, right. Nico did because I'm all, there's a mic next to you. And he's like, yeah, that's where you'll go. Where will she go? And I'm all, no, yeah. on the other side of you, there's a mic. And he's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and they, I just noticed they removed that big old monitor thing. Which monitor? How many times? Didn't, didn't Buzz have a big old thing here for the longest time that it blocked whoever was standing here? Maybe it was this, this? His second one. Oh, maybe. Ah, I just had, I'm going to go back and look at pictures or videos because I swear there was something. Maybe it was this one, his, his second one that he just had right there. Yeah, because you could never really look or if you were from here, you couldn't really talk to the other person. Oh, okay. I don't know. Now I'm just having a, what is it, Mandela effect? Maybe. <laughs> in the end, you know how I used to be in the newsroom? Yeah. I was like, I'll just be in there. It's fine. Yeah. And Buzz goes, yeah, maybe they should start getting used to, like, uh, hearing a voice from somewhere, but there's no one in the room. <laughs> and I'm all, well, if they're hearing voices and there's nobody in the room, that's we have bigger whole, problems. Yeah, that's a whole nother problem. Do you want that person to work here? But really, I just wanted to be back there because it was after the show, and I know that that's when I eat. <laughs> and it let me eat while we did this demo. I just wanted demo. to eat. <laughs> I just wanted to eat my lunch. You guys, don't throw me off my routine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But well, how'd it go? It went really well, I thought. Yeah. Um, so let's hope. But I'm all, you know what? I think she sounded great. Yeah. T- definitely knowledgeable. Really great at reading the news. Has a great, strong voice. Definitely clicked with Buzz immediately. Of course. And you know what? She clicked with all of us. It was really great. And I'm all, oh, it sounded great. But um, how is she going to handle it the first time Buzz throws a tantrum? Yeah, I'm always ready for those. They should simulate a tantrum. Let's and just start feeding Buzz less and less throughout the day. And then when she comes in to do another demo, go. Buzz is already cranky. Yeah. Yeah, that's the and real all, thing. And go. Yeah. I'm all, now sneeze wrong because he will criticize everything. Yeah. Because what I think is funny is they're being very <laughs> professional about this. Yeah. But ever since I've been here, they kind of just throw people in there. Yeah. They didn't do a test run with you. No, they did with not. With me, with <laughs> Fernie, Nico. No. Brandon, we, I don't know. Yeah, we all kind of so. just they like, kind of just said go. One of the one day they were just like, and here's Joanna or here's Emily. Yeah, here you go. And I'm all, hey, yeah, hey y'all, hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 so this person has a really big advantage to the fact that she was able to do a demo with us. Yeah, that's what I was like. Okay, oh, okay, now we're professional. Ooh, okay. I think it's because she comes from a very professional background. <laughs> So we're trying to like show off. Fine, fine, all, fine. Like, yeah, we don't want to screw it up with her. <laughs> yeah, because even I think with Iris, um, she came in and did news with you guys a while back. Oh my God, I keep telling Buzz that all the time. And he doesn't remember. He doesn't, he says he doesn't remember, but I think he does. Yeah, he just sees one of those. He's just being a douche. He's he a doesn't want to, he's a mean girl. He doesn't want to admit that he was all like, oh, I kind of just dismissed Iris. And now when she's she doing, is great. She's doing really well on the next, yeah, next I th- door. And I think y'all would have meshed good together. I think so too. She's really cool. Yeah, she could have worked for both stations, I think. But yeah, Mike was in need. They're, they're a good fit. I'm not even sure what their name is still. It's Mike and Iris in the mornings or Mike and Iris mornings are cool. But she, she <laughs> wants to put our cool and she's like, Mike doesn't like it. So Mike isn't cool. Yeah, I have to fix up their web or their web page. That's why um, I'm stuck on their like Mike and Iris in the mornings. Mike and Iris are cool. But see, Buzz mornings doesn't have that problem. Mike and Iris. Yeah. Buzz is just it's just Buzz's show. I know. And come he in, all, come out. It's Buzz Adam show. Gets- he gets so like embarrassed when we tell him things like that. Like we're like, well, it's called the Buzz Adam Show, and he's always like, "Look, I didn't want to name it that." Oh, whatever. They told me that's I had his to name go-to it. insult when he would get mad. He'd always be like, "Whose name is on this show?" I'm like, okay, all right. Buddy. I know that's what I tell him when he's all like, "Well, Joanna, you had a topic. Well, it's called the Buzz Adam Show, jo- <laughs> not the Joanna Barba Show." <laughs> How about you tell me what the topic you is? Tell me, buddy. Exactly. What is this going to be? All right. We want to talk so about see, Benefer. If you're interested in being the fourth in our throuple, that's what you got to deal with. Because <laughs> uh, what's still going to happen? Who's going to still answer the phone? 
I know they ain't going to make her answer the phone. Oh, hell no. It's going to still be still me. Still be you? Okay, that solved nothing. <laughs> I know, right? That did not solve a single problem. I t- corporate was here. They asked me specifically what I wanted. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I want a freaking phone screener. Yeah. Yeah, we need some help. And so I was like, well, this is not going to solve any situation, but I guess news. But here we are. Congratulations, Nico. So, you Nico. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll be in the newsroom answering phones. No, we don't Buzz know. needs him in here. We'll <laughs> give you all an update whenever the heck that happens. Whenever we find out an update. Who knows? Maybe by the time this is out, we'll have somebody already. You have new pictures. You'll have new costume ideas. I'm still stuck on Halloween. I always will be. Yeah. I was looking forward to the Powerpuff Girls, though. Powerpuff Girls is great. I was. Or, you know, you could be our Daphne. Nah, that's okay. I still thought the Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls is great. That's number one. Yeah. Number two. Scooby-Doo. You are our Daphne. <laughs> what was, there was another one. Three from Hell. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Devil's Rejects. Devil's, that would have been good, too. That would have been cool, yeah. Mm. I would have been cool with that. That's okay, guys. Although, if we bring in another woman, we could do Rocky Horror Picture Show. <gasps> Buzz would not. I'm thinking more, not like the... The oh, he would be the doctor. The like doctor. doctor. Nah, 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 nah. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it right. I know, but he I know He should have it will. under. <laughs> I know he should. He should have it under and then like take it off and put it back on like every now and then. I, know, I really want that him to. That would be great. Okay, let's try to put that in his head. I know. That's Wednesday. the next one I'm uh, planting. I won't be here. But oh, we'll I'm start. Wor- we'll do it. I'm Figure working out. on it. Work already. on it. Yeah. We're already halfway through July. We're calling it now. That means that Halloween is not that far behind. It is not... And apparently, I already missed the Bath and Body Works thing <laughs> because I have insufficient funds. <laughs> yes. For those of you who are like us and want Halloween stuff all the time, all year long, get the Bath and Body Works app because you get to buy stuff early, a week early. It's already out. So good luck if you have nice people. So the one on Joe Battle, those are nice employees. Because uh-huh. last year, when I finally realized, like, oh, I got a little bit of money. I'm going to go buy me a little... Mm-hmm. Hand sanitizer thingy. Because uh-huh. those are still like $15 for those little things. It's ridiculous. Oh, anyway, they they were nice enough to be like, oh, we just got it. Let me go in the back and let me open up boxes to find yeah, the you one you that. want. <gasps> yeah, nice. they're very sweet. So I hope it's still the same. I have not gone because I don't have any money. But through the app, you can do it too. I was asking for codes. I was like, someone give me a coupon because I can't buy any of this stuff. Yeah, so right. it's just in my cart. I can't buy it. <laughs> How do people do it, Emily? People, like, I know. And they're like, oh, I bought this, this, and that. I'm like, dude, that freaking snow globe is $70. Oh, my God. Are you? How are you cool with that, man? $70. You got a good is... job? Tell me about it. Cause... Yeah, tell me what your job is. <laughs> that should be a, a good all... one. Are you already, did you buy that Home Depot skeleton? What job do you have? Yeah. Please let me know. I always do that when we go to like the rich neighborhoods and I see like all the nice decorations for Halloween. I'm all, I want everybody in this neighborhood to write down what they do for a living. What's your job? I need to know what you do. Yeah. There's a TikTok uh, account that to ask people in really nice cars. Yes, in the night. I've seen that job. Yeah. What do you do? And they're like, oh, I'm a sports attorney or I'm a, I don't know, celebrity attorney or something like that. Yeah. Like, oh, I got it. How do I get it? Who do we ask? Who do you think we should ask here? Like. Buzz Adams, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't like decorations. No, he doesn't. But it makes sense with him because his house is like in a cul-de-sac. Yeah. And it's like, you no can't fun. see it. But it's for you sometimes. I know. Most he of said the his time. girlfriend put something up last year. And he was so mad about it. Like, I don't give out candy. He does have a point. If you don't give out candy, I don't think you should decorate. Well, he said that his girlfriend did decorate last year. Yeah. And then she bought like a ton of candy. Oh. But nobody went. Because it's in a cul-de-sac. Because it's in a weird, it's not a cul-de-sac. It's just really weirdly placed. Yeah. It's like a street. It's been years within since a I've been street. there. Yeah. And so his house, you can barely see it. And so, yeah, kids aren't going to know to go there trick-or-treating. True. There's probably like hardly anyone with <laughs> that his girlfriend there. was all mad. Like, I bought so much candy and nobody came to trick-or-treat. Take or it treat. back. What did she do with the candy? I don't know, but I kept telling him like, hey, hey, I'll take the candy. Bring the candy. And he never brought the candy. Boo. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and yet another example of what you have to deal with with Buzz. Exactly. He brags about having too much candy left over from Halloween. He probably ate it all. <laughs> he probably did. I was over here scraping like leftover candy from past parties. Like, oh, you guys want this candy? <laughs> it's old. It's Easter. It has a but- bunny on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Reese's Easter eggs. Do you want them? You can have them. 
<laughs> I always do that. I'm all, the egg could be a pumpkin here. Yeah, just poke its little. It's still fine. It's a, squ- a squishy little pumpkin. It's still good. Go for it. Don't be scared. It'll help your tum-tum. Well, it's already coming up quickly. We're already doing our back to school expo. Oh, back After to school. that is full Halloween, man. All right. Tell I'm warning you now, people. We're going straight into Halloween. Yeah, we should. We are a rock station, and I've always believed we, we do the Halloween parade. We should be the front liners. We or, should. For I'm still Halloween. trying to the get leaders. us to jump on Krampus, even. Yes. To continue That would it. be a good one, too. I've been trying for it two years because I've talked to Nikki of Kaleidoscope and be like, dude, she, they always reach out and say, we would like to partner with you guys, but... It is a sponsorship, so we would have to give them money, and that's always a you know mm-hmm. that's, a, that's a thing. And so, and we don't want to be like the ones that like, oh, we're creating our own Krampus thing, yeah, no, and not involve Nikki yeah, no, and them. Yeah, we're trying to collaborate with them. We're Nikki trying to is, work with uh, them. in charge of this thing called Kaleidoscope Art Markets. Yes, and you may have seen them around El Paso a lot. They have a lot of markets. They have like an anime fest. And they just have a bunch of yeah. great local vendors and stuff. And they stuff. helped us with our pickle party. Right. So that was the first time we did a pickle party. We teamed up with them. So same thing. I was trying to jump on that to be mm-hmm. like, hey, look how great pickle party is. Let's work with them for a Krampus thing. And yes, we work definitely. with Alamo Draft House. You, you're besties with them. Mm, yeah, Are you still hosting them. parties? Yes, I have one tomorrow, by the ah, way. Ah, you see? And then from there, well, maybe you should talk to them, too, when you see them mm-hmm. and say, hey. Partner up for Halloween. Because they do, last year, that's what they did. They had a whole Kramp- the Krampus Festival at Alamo, mm-hmm. and then they watched Krampus when the festival was over. Yeah. So, I was beautiful there to partnership. Judge that yeah, one. and you were part of that. So, why don't we all, it's all a great get episode. another throuple going? And get you guys involved. But as with every corporation, I think a lot of workers <laughs> will understand yeah. that if it's too logical <laughs> and it sounds way too easy, no. Nah. Ain't gonna Your work. corporate company will go the long way, the harder way. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, but we're well, local. We're local, right? <laughs> we love our community. Do we, though? Just no, saying. we do. We do. And we're throwing that I, out there. We're just saying. Did you sign up for that um, shirt? Oh, no. I still have it open on my phone. Sign up for it while I explain what's happening. Okay. Let me do that right now. Over at Netflix and To Doom, they're To Doom. Hmm. They're giving away a free shirt uh, that has Hellfire Club on it. But it's signed by Eddie Munson himself, Joe Quinn, who I've recently found out came out in Game of Thrones. And that's where else you may see him. But... Uh, Yeah, I have no idea. I never watched Game of Thrones. I did not either. You would figure that I'd be into that because, you know, I love horror and things like that. But no, apparently medieval things, not really my thing. Not into them either. Yeah, dragons and stuff. Not really into that. Dragons are cool. I like like the dragon from Shrek. I was going to say, yeah. And then I like their offspring, the drunkies. Drunkies. Hey guys, time to get in on the action for the biggest moments in basketball with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projections, place your entry, and win up to 100 times your money. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use the code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Drinkies. They're called drinkies. You see? Drag. Hey guys, time to get in on the action for the biggest moments in basketball with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projections, place your entry, and win up to 100 times your money. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use the code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Price picks. Pick more. Pick less. It's that easy. I've realized that our very own Viva La Mocha created their very own Hellfire shirt, Thank but they say Hell Paso, Paso, which is amazing. I love it. But of course, I'm poor. <laughs> I'm poor. I'm poor. <laughs> yeah. And so I really have to decide, do I want to pay the car insurance or get a Hellfire shirt? Yeah, I was like, oh, I got I to fill up. The gas. I was on the yes. light. I was on the light. Oh, and no. I was like, Hell Paso shirt or gas? You know, they don't need me at work. <laughs> they got to have to start picking me up. Yeah. 
There should be a <laughs> shuttle that picks all of us up. Man, Mondo, back in the day, that was what he always tried to be like. Hey, if they're gonna be working on those trolleys and whatnot, they should be working on a train, those bullets or whatever, yeah. bullet trains from the east side, from like Joe Battle to the west side, because us Far East people, yeah, everything. that would be so much more helpful. For me, as a person who lives in Central, Everything is either on the east side or the That's west true. side. That's true. You're stuck in the middle, huh? I'm stuck in the middle. Then I have to decide, oh, which one do I want to sacrifice myself to this time? The west <laughs> side or the east side? That's true. It's a good one, too. I'm like, why is there nothing over here for us? Yeah, like, well, no, we're just here. And that's why East Lake is growing because they're like, don't go to the west side anymore, people. You're going to stay on your side. Stay on we're your gonna side. We're going to give you everything you could ever want in East Lake. Now we're getting an Albertsons. Like, oh, all yeah. right. Albertsons makes me feel fancy. It does. I rarely go there. <laughs> it's like my Whole Foods. Yeah. I, God, I think I've been to Whole Foods once. I've been once, and then I got a pizza. No, I chips. Did. Is the pizza good there? It's all right. It's I all hear right. a lot of good things. Yeah. I didn't get to, like, it was just a lunch break that so I was just mm-hmm. grabbed it and ran, so... I didn't get to sit in their little restaurant patio. It's very nice. It's nice. But I haven't been there in years. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm all like, I'm taking these sweet potato chips. I will pay for them. Don't think I'm stealing them. You know who has amazing sweet potato chips? Who? Taco Avocat. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Those are like, I will travel to the east side for those. Our lovely people are out there advertising the hell out of them. You need to be like, what about me? Yeah, what about me? What about me? I want to sit there and be like, I just want some sweet potato chips with the queso. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. They are good. Oh, Oh, I just got hungry. Support local. (laughs) Support local, but if you go out to Taco Avocado, you got to get those sweet potato chips. Get the chips. Get the hell past those shirts. I don't know how long they're going to sell it for. I know. I should message her and be like, hey, I get paid again at the end of the month. Yeah. Can you just like set aside one for me? Well, I swear we'll buy one. <laughs> I swear I'm going to pay you for it. I'm just waiting to get my next Give paycheck. Give me time. Yeah, because they also made stickers, but I don't know. I don't know the situation there. I know it was a limited time and whatnot, but. No, I'm going to message them and be like, look, I just got paid, but that money's gone now. Okay. I think they're making a whole little line, so because we're all going to have to save our money. I know. <laughs> they sell something like with a waffle, too. So I was like, oh, man. No, keep coming out with I didn't see that. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait. But if and you have when, the money. If you have the money, totally go out and support local. Yeah. I cannot, uh, what's that word? Like push you enough to support local. Yeah. Because that same with I, this weekend too, I saw um, I Love in Bloom, the girl who makes bath bombs. Oh, uh-huh. And she likes to make a lot of reels lately. And the one she had, I was like, is it, hold up, is this the angle that you're recording your video? Or do you have some big ass bath bombs right now? Because she had a big old waffle with 11 on it. So it was oh, okay. like a Stranger Things one. And, and it was she's, cute. it's the size of her head. Oh my God, that's like, a damn. big, do I need a big bathtub for that? I don't know. Mine is like normal size. No, I think it's just like <laughs> going to make your bathtub a cauldron. Sweet. The size of that. She should make some cauldron ones. Just saying. But Throwing ideas out there. Another great support local and Stranger Things Make it we happen. have a lot of things. I always like to say, like, hey, if I found it online and somebody made it, I'm sure I could find somebody in El Paso to do it. Yeah. But you got to search and we search. We really got to start. Throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start posting shit like, hey, I saw this. Can anyone in El Paso make it no, for me? No, there's still one girl I cannot find for the life of me. And I always try to, like, one day she'll come back to me. But she <laughs> was um, she was at a, a farmer's market at Oasis Bowling Lanes. She okay. was, it was her first time doing one. She just like set up, she had, she was selling some crafts. She didn't mean to to sell some crochet. I bought my handmade, a crocheted handmade doll. Oh, I did see your doll. Yeah, my little doll. And she's like, you know what? It's the first time I've crocheted things. I'm going to sell it to you real cheap. I, I was just practicing. <gasps> oh, so wow. she's like, I hope to get better. But she made a lot of cute things for being uh-huh. not that experienced or whatever. They're cute. And I can't find her anymore. I I never got a business card. I never got anything. I was like, Put girl. Put handmade on like all the support I groups did. and be like, does anyone know who made this? Who made this? Yeah. Please come back to Because Viva La Mocha, Mocha or Moni, she was like, dude, was it this person? And then I went and it wasn't them. So I was like, no, I don't know who it is. I was You're asking oh for God. help. I was like, who is she? Because they never posted like their vendors. So I was like, oh, I can't oh, find no. her. I can't. Because so I sad. like a lot of crochet dolls. Mm-hmm. Um, horror mm-hmm. figures. 
but they're so expensive. And yeah, so that's why I was like, I wonder if I can find someone in El Paso. I'm willing to pay it, but in El Paso without yeah, the shipping. Without handling. all the shipping. <laughs> so I miss that one girl. I cannot find her. All girl, time. if you're out there, come back to us. It's been at least a year because it was when I was pregnant oh. or like more than a year. Um, that I was like, oh, I'm going to get this. I don't think I was pregnant yet. Mm-hmm. That's I was like, oh, crap. Where is she? We're going to find her. One day. We'll we will find her. Find her. And we're going to get more crocheted stuff from her. A bunch of handmaids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think maybe we should do that for Halloween this year. And Buzz could be Aunt Lydia. <laughs> that was going to be something one That year, was no? one of our ideas. One day. One I'll day. find her. One day y'all will be handmaids. One day we'll find the girl who made the handmaid as well. And one day <laughs> you will not be a thruple anymore. I know. And he goes, he goes, God, it feels a lot like we're dating somebody. And then we're like... We have to like interview them and stuff. And I'm all, well, we are a thruple and we're bringing in someone new. So you kind of do. Yeah. You're, this is going to be your work relationship. I don't believe in those, you know, work husbands and wives and whatnot, no. but it kind of is like. Yeah. I feel like it's more like a, a work family. Yeah. You have to see each other every day. You're not always going to like each other. But you have to get but along. But you have to get along. And then I see those memes where they're like, if they come in and tell you, oh, we're like a work family. It's, it's a, a toxic a place. <laughs> I was like, it oh, really my God, is. they did do that to me. They do that to all of us. I was like, Everybody. Yeah, I think, like Mondo's like, my Theo. Like when I first was here, I was like, yeah. And I know it was it was toxic. It was it was toxic. <laughs> Looking back, it was very toxic. It was a, it was a red flag, guys. <laughs> my other Theo's gone. Mario, I would call him my Theo, too. Oh, no. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, COVID. Nico and Buzz are like my stepchildren. And they're all fighting for mommy's attention. Mama Joanna. And I'm like, mama will be with you in a moment. I need to edit this. Go look at that shiny they're, thing. They're both just fighting to see who who's going to get the joke faster. Right. Who's going to yeah? Who's gonna make you laugh more exactly. today? You and should, like, mama will be with you You soon. should have one of those boards like Stranger Things and have Nico and Buzz and then whoever <gasps> made you laugh. Emily, that's hilarious. Just I'm going to do that. Mark it. Like, here you go. I'm going to make that. I'll give you. I, I have a broken whiteboard. You want one? <laughs> I had a whiteboard. I forgot what it was. And it was like something for Buzz because I was like, it has been this many days since Buzz's last accident. Oh, you should bring that back for August. Too. We got a lot of August. whiteboards. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's bring on the whiteboards. That'll be fun. We'll do it. We had a comment on one of our reels. And Uh-oh. what did it say? About? About the Buzz? micro penis. Oh, that the things Buzz... Um, searches so we just made one where joanna is like oh when you notice what buzz is googling a lot of weird stuff he does google weird things and so joanna when she's done working you go back into the newsroom Mm -hmm. which is right behind buzz's computer main computer yeah and so when he's looking for weird things that's i get to see see. it all yeah and p i don't know when this was the last time because i think he's done it multiple times I don't know when's the last time you guys were talking about a micro penis. Just the other day. Okay, well, someone was like, "Ha!" Ah, when he was looking up the micro penis. Yes. It's like, oh, we Sometimes can do that. It used to be bad. <laughs> I because... thought it was banned. I thought you couldn't look for no, that stuff I, anymore. Like it used to be really bad. Yeah, no, I know he was worse, but, but I then, thought that's why they blocked it. But now we're blocked from a lot of things. He used to watch porn, <laughs> and it wasn't because— It was oh, research. It was research because we were having a porn star in. Yeah, so he technically was like And one time I was sitting it. there, <laughs> and he got like a Stormy Daniels one, and we were like, Buzz, stop, seriously. <laughs> it's research, Although, people. Although, me saying it out loud now, I'm like, maybe that's an HR complaint. Yeah, that's why I was like, uh, he didn't watch <laughs> He wouldn't watch it. He would like put in the porn and then Twitter is wild. Like Twitter has no oh, restrictions. Oh, twi- yeah, Twitter's disgusting. So I would go on and look up like, oh, who's the porn star we're having? And then I would look her up and boom. I'm all, oops, boobs. Yeah, too much. <laughs> too much. And that's I'm all, why well, I get- found her. <laughs> well, that's why you're in that weird algorithm of weird stuff Dude, you get. every time. I still get it. And you know how I had to block it? <laughs> Every time, you guys, every time I go onto Twitter and look up the hashtag El Paso to see what's happening in our city, I always get this guy that's doing it with other guys. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what I've pressed or anything. Yeah. But I can put things like block this guy or this tweet isn't helpful or I don't yeah. want to see this anymore. It will still pop up. <laughs> and I'm like, and I have no tips for you because we try. I try to search for it. I think Michelle tried to search for it. Not, I'm never the only popped up. One that did gets, not pop up in our stuff. I'm the only one that gets man for man, you know? <laughs> and, and it's like 
full on. It has to be something you search. And it the, does. And then the hashtags, it'll be like El Paso or it'll say like, I'm in El Paso this weekend. And so I guess that's why it tells me like El Paso. I guess. Because, yeah, that's why I I oh, have yeah. a little thing on my computer that gives me every El Paso tweet. And that's why I try to scroll through it and I didn't get anything. I got it the other day and I had nope. to like close it right away because I could feel somebody coming down the hall. And I didn't want them to be like, what the hell is They were Joanna giving watching? another tour. I know. <laughs> and this is Joanna from the morning show. Boom. Guy doing Boom. it with another guy. Hi. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How's it going? Welcome. Yeah. We're going to have to put a warning of when people walk through our studios and they give them tours and say, here's the morning show. We're brainstorming. Weird things are going to come out of our mouths or on our computer. So, Unfortunately, it has happened, Emily. All the time. <laughs> All the time. And then I listen to my podcasts in my office, uh-huh. and my podcasts are vulgar. And I don't listen to them on low, all right? So yeah. this is my area. <laughs> this is my work. You're space. like, you came to us, all right? Yeah. <laughs> We're in the podcast field now, people. So I'm researching. <laughs> and if they're talking about horrible things, because the last time I was watching one, I, wa- I was watching Bad Friends with Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino. Mm-hmm. They were show- and Steve-O. Steve-O was on that one. And they were showing each other their buttholes. Oh, my God. And I was like, someone's going to walk in right now. So I was gonna walk in, yeah, and there's a bunch. There's three naked men laughing at each other, <laughs> bent over. That's part of the job. I love guys. how comfortable they were with it. <laughs> yeah, they all were just like, "Hey, well, can I see yours? Let me see yeah, your bunghole." So if Stevo ever comes, he's coming to El Paso. If Stevo comes back in, uh-huh. you can be like, "Hey, I heard you showed your butthole." <laughs> That's not it. Have you heard Nico's story of when he opened for Stevo? No, I hear that there is a story. But I have yes, heard he the says story. that you know his opening, his ending act or something is something with his butthole. Yes, I've seen it. I've and seen so, his act. Final and Nico act. was like, I was right there as he bent down, and I, he's all, <laughs> I saw everything. Okay, I wasn't. I was in the audience when he was at the comic strip, uh, so I saw that happen. But yeah, not that close. Poor well, Nico. Nico was very close. I wonder if he smelled it. I would have asked. Oh him. no. <laughs> You're like, what did it smell like? Did it smell, though? Were you that close? How close were you, Nico? <laughs> Was it enough to Details. be smell a vision Because you Details. should tell people about that. Because then they, on the podcast I was listening to slash watching, they were complimenting how clean they were. So wow. just saying, when steve in like, here. Like, no, not even little flecks of toilet paper? No they, no, they were very clean. And so when steve here, just saying. <sighs> That's why I want a bidet, dude. <laughs> You're going to have to uh, you get an endorsement. I know. Somebody endorsed me that if you have a bidet. Or who sells them. Who sells bidets in El Paso. My cousin was. I don't know if he ever sold it. <laughs> <gasps> but I can, I can ask or him for you. Or at least that little connect thing that you yeah, connect to your toilet. Yeah, it was the one that you connect to your toilet. Yeah, but I'm that's always of... a debate people like to have. I s- um, why? Bidets or just toilet paper or just baby wipes. Baby wipes are good too, but also like I kind of want like a fresh feeling. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have the argument that our holes are too close. I don't know if that's too much for this. <laughs> they they are. That's what my no, argument yeah. always is. Have you seen that movie? What is it? Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And they're like it, the couple that just got married. And oh, they're like, why yeah. would God build a sewer right next to a <laughs> playground? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's my point. Exactly. We're too close. I don't know. That's a whole nother debate. You guys should bring that up on air and see yeah. what happens. I want a bidet. Buzz says that when he moved into his house, it had a bidet in his bathroom. Ooh. And he got it taken out. Mm. He and was I'm, ahead of the time. Right? I want a bidet. You'll get one, Joanna, one day. Thank you. And then he can report back to I us. Can, Dreams of Bidet is the name of this one. <laughs> bidet Dreams. Bidet Dreams. I like that. Bidet Dreams. I want one. <laughs> There's got to be a local, you know, vendor somewhere. Come in and install a bidet in my toilet. Yeah. We'll do an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll make a reel. Do you, you want a butthole as clean as Stevo's? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you about this, this, and that. See, it sells itself. <laughs> it's perfect. And then when Stevo comes in, you get him to voice something. How do you get it so clean, Stevo? <laughs> With this, this, and that, or because whatever the hell. Because I just got to be. <laughs> What's your method? Tell us about it. Does it just squirt? You think? I have like... no idea. Interesting. I'm going off of movies and all that, and yeah, it I seems know, like right? it just squirts. I don't know. I always see like the ones that are. It's like a Japanese toilet. Yeah, 
and it has like heating or uh-huh. something. Yeah, so I'm going off of movies. I have no experience. I know. That'd be cool, but you know, <laughs> have someone come to the morning show. I can't and be like, even, hey, dude, I can't even buy like a candle at Bath and Body Works, and I'm over here about a, a with bidet. a bidet. So I'm telling you, you got to use who the hell do I think I am? Fit fam fame. My fit fam fame. And get a bidet. Yeah. You're fit fam famous. Oh, Joanne. man, I am. Twice. I don't know what to do with this fame. <laughs> you're on there twice and within like two weeks. I was on there twice. You're fit fam famous and you need to be acknowledged. And for the that. only reason that I realized the second time again was because I'm all, why am I getting a bunch of people following me all of a sudden? Like, I thought it was you posting something on the KLEQ Instagram. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah. shit, it's FitFam again. Again. How nice of them. Yeah. That was nice. Use I it. Like, I like how they credited me. That was very I nice. I do appreciate that. Uh, and they got the right radio station this time, KLEQ. <laughs> I'm going to do something to make them do it back to kids. <laughs> I'm going to cross post one of your arms. Like, oh, oh, FitFam, look at this. That way Buzz can get mad again and yeah, be like, exactly. it's KLEQ, not exactly. Kiss. <laughs> It'll be good. Speaking of podcasts, I was a guest on a podcast this past weekend. <gasps> yes. What's it called again? I got to be on Conversing with Chris and Misa. Misa. I like that name. Misa. And it's the, then they had this other guy named Joe. And well, they had my, my Instagram profile up. And then oh. I, I have the thing that says, uh, I'm the co-host of What the Buzz with Emily, and it's tagged with you. Yeah. And we started talking about What the Buzz, and the guy clicked on Emily, on you. Uh-oh. And then it, you have your name, Emily Murillo. And the guy's like, oh, I think this is my cousin. And they're all like, <laughs> shut up. You don't know every Murillo in town. And he's all like, no, it's very rare. I have to be really. No, to there's it. so many Murillos. Yeah, are there? There's very, uh, there's a lot of Murillos. And I can ask what I'll ask Fo. Yeah, no, I, I, I doubt think we it. Concluded that he's not related. See from what is? <laughs> <laughs> I think we concluded. No, you're not related to no. them. No, but he was like, no, dude, it's very rare to find somebody with that name. <laughs> no, it's not. Al. And I'm all like, really? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh-uh. And then I'm all, well, that's her husband right there. And they're all like, do you know him? And he's like, no, but maybe he's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school. I, I went to college with an Emily Murillo. Oh, well. Yeah, I know. I was even like, oh, that's weird. That's your future. Yeah. You didn't know oh, that was going to be I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh. But that's why I like Murillo's very common. Anyway. Anyway, cr- uh, Conversing with Chris and Misa is a local El Paso podcast. They have had some really big names on their show. They've had John Teicher. They've had our very own Steve Kaplowitz. Steve. Uh, Veronica Gonzalez. They've yes, had I remember Veronica. Iris. Oh, they had Iris. Yeah, They've had Iris. They nice. had Nico. And Nico's the one who actually set it up. He He's the one that came yeah. to me and was like, hey, do you want to be on this podcast? And I was like, sure. Yeah. Because for the longest time, I saw that Brandon was on it. Oh. And for the longest time, they would be like, hey, I could see them messaging Brandon. And yeah. they were like, Brandon, see if Lisa and Buzz would come on the show. Buzz, ask Buzz or Lisa if they'll come on. But never did they say Ask Joanna. Oh, oh, now you want her because she's fit, fam, famous, I'm eh? Fam- <laughs> now it makes sense. You see, like, they left I that out. I was wondering huh? why. They left that but out. But I kind of feel like it was a ploy <gasps> because the whole time they were like, you know, we've been trying to get Buzz on the podcast for the longest time. <gasps> and they're like, and we tell Nico, like, hey, Nico, tell him. And I'm like, well, that's your problem right there. Yeah, no. You're having Nico do it. Mm-mm. And so they were like, Joanna, try and see if you can nudge Buzz a little to come onto the podcast. And the, I'm like, yeah, sure. Well, this was fun, guys. It was great. Yeah. And then later I'm all, wait a minute. Did they just get to me so that I could get to Buzz? <laughs> they want to show Buzz. Everyone else has been on this Yes. Buzz. Why aren't you on it? Buzz. Fernie has been on it. Oh, even Fernie? Even God. Fernie. Okay, yeah. Brandon. So the only ones missing were Lisa and Buzz. Um. And I didn't want to tell them, like... Yeah, it's never going to happen, dude. It's going to happen. I just had to be really nice and be like, yeah. well, you know, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> but we all know the answer. It'll be a miracle if they can get yeah. Buzz on there. You and I know the answer. Yeah, it's going to be a big no. It's a big no. That's a no for me. But Nico, maybe Nico can convince him. Yeah. You know? I already told them what they need to do. Yeah. To get Buzz on there. Get him a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll, get, he'll come on. <laughs> But no, it was a ton of fun. The podcast is already up. You can get them wherever you find podcasts, wherever you found this one, maybe. Yeah. Uh, they also posted on YouTube. They were recording the whole time. Yeah, I'm totally going to watch it. Um, and know. it was a ton of fun. Like, I, I laughed my ass off. Real good people. Real, nice. th- you know, very organized. You know how you and I made a list? Yeah. 
<laughs> but sometimes we go off rails. Yeah, which is like 90% of the time, yeah. They literally go through every... He sent me a rundown the day before. Oh. And I was like, wow. And then we went through everything in the rundown. And even before we started, he was like, look, I'm going to change these stories. Let's put in these instead. Uh, okay, so they actually get you involved with like up-to-date yes, news stories? Yes, we still okay. did also like some headlines of what's going on. Okay. Um, but a lot. the first part is mainly me talking about working here, working with Buzz, yeah. uh, what I had planned to do, how I got into this business. Nice. And then because they were just so organized and they had such a really great setup, I was like, did you guys ever want to be in radio? And they were like, no, we just really wanted to do a podcast. Yeah. And nice. it's working. They've had a lot of big names. They've had the guy from the locomotive. They've had like a superintendent. Uh, they kept rubbing it in my face that they had Johnny Cage on. Okay, cool <laughs> for you, I guess. And I was like, well, this is amazing. I, you know, I'm really honored that you guys finally decided to have me. On oh, your yeah, thank you. you know. No, but also, like, I think they want me to get buzz on their podcast. They're like, what? Let's do it. Joanna will put it in his head. If you write the article, then Buzz will look at it. Buzz will probably bring it up on air. I think the way we have to play it is, no, they don't want go. you. You know how that, <gasps> yeah, that, might be, that yeah. works with Buzz. Oh, no. But yeah, you should. You should You should write the article. Uh-huh. And then when Buzz talks about it, oh, no, they didn't mention you at all. They didn't really want to talk about you. They didn't want to talk you. about you at all. No. No. Yeah. They were interested in uh, just That's the me. way we have to play it with you Buzz. You should. See, see uh, how see? he acts on air. See? Yeah. Do it. And then when he starts getting matched, like, no, Buzz, yes, yes, they do. They do want you on. But do you want to go on there? Because they really want you. You're like, don't say it out loud, Buzz. Because you already you do, committed to it on air. <laughs> exactly, they'll come for you, Buzz. They will come for you. Well, that episode is up now, and they also asked about our podcast, and I kept telling them, like, yeah, we're not that organized. Nah, dude, we just free ball it here. We free ball, and I tell them, I'm all like, uh, you know, Emily and I both do. We work at a radio station, and so when we go on to do our podcast, it's really just us venting. Yeah, this is us doing something that we like. It's and our therapy because we can't therapy. afford therapy. Exactly. Because yeah. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor. The other day, you know how it was Prime Week last week? Yeah. I was on the hunt for a Roomba and they had like the knockoff version for like $100. Oh, that's still a lot. It was still a lot, yeah. but I was all like, whoa, from like $300 to that? That's yeah. amazing. I had insufficient funds. And so Buzz was <laughs> like, Joanna, did you get your Roomba? And I'm all, no. Buzz doesn't have one just lying around. I feel like that man has one just in a closet somewhere. First off, he wouldn't know how to use it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Get it from him. No, he doesn't. And he was all like, Damn. what if I give you money for your Roomba? But you know how I am. Like, I'm not just going to take money. Do it. I'm not going to do that. No. Tell have, him to buy it for himself him, and then give it to you. Have that hanging over my uh, head. <laughs> okay, I can see. I can see that. So I was like, no, no, it's fine. And today he owes me money because, you know, I do a lot of stuff for him. Yeah. I was like, do you want to pay me in advance for this week already? Yeah. And he's all, in a Roomba? Get you, he's all, will, you get, will it get you closer to getting your Roomba? And I'm all, no, it's still, it's not on sale anymore. <laughs> we missed our window there, Buzz. I did. <laughs> so, it was sad. Uh, you should have, you should be like, just pay me in advance. And then, yeah. I know. Uh, one time he Roomba. was all like, I only have a hundred. And I'm all, you can pay me in advance for the next four weeks. <laughs> exactly. That's so. what you should have made that deal with him <laughs> for Prime right. Day. You're like, I need this little Roomba thingy. Give it. A Roomba would change my life. If I'm I, sick of sweeping. Yeah, see, I don't know about those things. They're good. I don't know. I, I, I also see a lot of robot. videos, and then I, I just want to see my cat on top of it. I know. It's mostly Cruising around. I feel like my cat would mess it up somehow, some way. My sister says the same thing about her cat. I don't know, yeah, because yeah, Cookie is a demon. Yeah, they'll either swat the crap out of it, <laughs> throw it against a wall somehow, right. some way, or just lay in front of it so it's going to suck on their fur until it clogs it. <laughs> And then it's going to become a problem that I've run this through my head multiple times because Foe wants one. Well, now I'm scared. <laughs> I was like, no, no. I stayed away from Prime Day. I'm saving money for a Hell Paso shirt. And then Halloween's already here, dude. We're screwed. Yeah, I know. We're screwed. There goes all my money. Exactly. How do you buy decorations how? when you have no money? How do I start an OnlyFans? There's this feetfinder.com that <laughs> I've heard about. <laughs> I don't know how accurate it is. I don't like my feet. Someone does, though. That's a good point. Like, Someone out there that. will. Yeah, think about that. Because Spo and I ran through this, too. That there's something for everyone. And Feet Finder yeah, might be true. our savior. Because I hear this on a lot of other podcasts, too, where people are like, dude, 
they have an OnlyFans, but they don't show anything sexual or anything like I need, that. I need that one. They're either eating stuff, <gasps> trying on clothes, or pictures of their feet. That's it. You don't have to do anything. Oh, I need that. <laughs> yeah, or like your cats. Like you, ha- like there's something for everyone. It's balloon so weird. popping, balloon popping, smashing your face into bread. That was that oh, one that's back right. in the day. Remember? Yeah, we got to find the one thing we can do and then get money for it on OnlyFans. We should. Let's make an OnlyFans. <laughs> A Me and my clean sister every day, every day after dinner, we're just like. How do we start an OnlyFans? Yeah, after the girl who sold her farts in jars, I was so pissed. Like, why did I go to college? Right. Why did I have why? a degree? Why do I have what? dignity? Like, why do I care? Yeah. We shouldn't feel shame <laughs> for these things. I feel shame. Everybody has feet. And if somebody out there thinks my feet are sexy, then damn it, Give I it want to money them. for it. Exactly. They will who pay am I you for it. To deny them my feet. Exactly. Look into Look, it. If someone out there will buy it, I will sell it. All right. We that <laughs> would be we need to figure out what what weird thing would you pay to see? That would be a good graphic yes. too, or a discussion on air. Have people call in. It's really for research for us. This is for research Only purposes. Fans or what non-sexual account. thing would you be willing to pay for on OnlyFans? Yeah. Write this down. Write it down. Because it's something we could possibly bank on. Please, sir. We need money for Halloween. <laughs> we do. And then the holidays come right after that. I'm screwed. <laughs> exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I'm poor. We got to think of something. We're podcasting for fun. We need a podcast for money. <laughs> <laughs> We do it for you, beautiful 17 people. Yeah. That listen to this. All right. I'm so excited for us. Just letting you know. Uh, I would like to end this with saying that Joanna is now on Bumble. (gasps) How's that going? Um, Okay. (laughs) So I don't know what I pressed and I don't know how to like fix it. Okay. But I'm getting a lot of people who are like, my wife and I are looking for a third or my girlfriend and I are looking for someone we can both date. No sister wives drama. And I'm all, how did I get here? Is it because you wrote about that sex house? Maybe, right. But how does Bumble or know? your phone's listening to you every time you say we're a thruple <laughs> with it Buzz does. and Nico. I do say thruple a lot. And it's probably like she likes it. She likes it. <laughs> Give it to her on Bumble. My phone has betrayed me. I've never swiped <laughs> left so much, Emily. We all of a sudden, like every guy is into hiking and going on adventures. And I'm all like, I'm not going hiking with do you know what happens when girls go hiking with guys? They, they die. don't come back. Yeah. Exactly. That's how girls die. Yeah. Do you want to be on your own true crime documentary? Exactly. No. That's how it starts. Because that, that's how it happens. Uh-huh. And all these guys are like, oh, I'm going to I love hiking and stuff. And I'm all oh, what happened here? What is your ideal profile like? If you were reading a profile, mm-hmm. what would that say? I did swipe right on one guy who uh, he posted like a little bio of himself. But then he did this thing where he put like, uh, what show was it? Yellowstone, season so and so, episode so and so, minute this and that. Oh, So I went to it and uh-huh. it was like the coolest scene ever. And I'm all, that was fucking clever. Yeah. Like, swipe right. That That is a cool we thing matched. to do. Really? And Bumble's weird. Like, I have to be the one to send the message first. The girl sends the message. That's sexist. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's so that you don't Safety get like. or something? Yeah, right. Okay. But then, Emily, it has this little timer next to their name. And it's like, you only have 14 hours left to message this person. There's only five hours left to message them. Or you'll they'll be forever gone in the abyss. Okay. And I'm all, oh, that's just that's too much anxiety. pressure. Yeah, I know, no. right? I lost one and now I'll never find him again. <gasps> really? Yeah, because I didn't know what to put. I was just like, uh. Oh, no, <laughs> Joanna. Which I'm like, is this the anxiety guys feel when they send a message? Oh, my no, God. No, because guys usually just go, sup. You need to come up. Yeah. Do you just say sup back? You need to come up with like a line. Yeah. And so usually my thing is, hey, I like this thing in your picture. What's up? What's up? Yeah. I messaged one guy because I thought he looked like Eddie you, Munson. You know who used to tell me that? Well, did <laughs> Lisa t- tell you that? No. Lisa t- would tell me to do that. She'd be like, pick out something in the photo and tell them. Oh, well, then I'm using Look the Lisa you. method. Look That's why I was like, wait, did she tell you the same thing back in the day? No. That's your own. Uh, see, well, maybe That's it's my just own like. Thought. Yeah, maybe. It's yeah, because guys usually just either here's a D pick. Sup. Oh, God. Sup. Yeah. 
So I see why they have the girl message first. Uh, yeah, they're preventing <laughs> the deep pick attacks. But also, like, Bumble, I need you to stop it with the throuple things. <laughs> I'm already in one throuple. Well, it's, it knows it. That's why it's telling you to Well, shouldn't there be, this? like, I can't have rival throuples? I don't know how. Actually, I don't know how it works. Well, like, I feel like that'd be a TLC show. <laughs> So. I'm in a rival thruple, and my other thruple doesn't know about it. It's the great thruple off, and then and then you'll go and into the food just network making cupcakes. somehow, yeah. And then it'll turn Whose into... Whose cupcakes are better? Too many reality shows. That's what it will turn into. Um, so if you guys could think of a better opening line for me on messages for guys, uh, let me know. Yeah, that would be a good one to ask, too. Tell I me don't what know. messages guys like to get first. What do you guys want to hear, you know? What do I say? Like, you have beautiful smile. A lot of them aren't even smiling in the picture. <laughs> they have like these sunglasses. They have their guys sunglasses smile? on and they're just like, I'm cool. <laughs> and then I See, really. That was faux. He was one of those, but he did smile. And I would always call him Colgate smile. So I would comment on his smile first. And then there's some where they put pictures of them with their guy friends. Like, which one? And I'm like, well, which who? one are you? Which one's the ugly one? That's the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and I'm all, which one is he? <laughs> Who am I messaging? Well, maybe that could be your opening opening line for when it's a group of guys. That's be like, hey, hey, which, which one, one are, are you? <laughs> and then when they respond, and if you're like, damn, wrong one. Oh, man. <laughs> you can write <laughs> the ugly one. wrong one. <laughs> uh, but tell your friend I say hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me know about your friend, though. Okay. Have a good day. I messaged one because I thought he looked like Eddie Munson. And he has the long hair. Did he respond? He did, yeah. We're talking about horror movies. Nice. Make so it happen. So that's how it's going for me on Bumble. You're lucky you're married. I'm married. I don't have to deal with any of that. Yeah. <sighs> Luckily. But yeah, let me know what guys want to hear in that first message. Yeah, let's go with that. I Ask like your that. husband. I, I'll tell him what, well, what happened back then. I, yeah. You're all before me. You know, you before know what? I don't want to know. Because he was on Tinder. And then I even told him, oh, oh yeah, me. you're on Tinder? When we were... <laughs> When we were we were getting serious, I'm like, oh yeah, I wasn't on any dating app. So I was like, maybe that was my mistake. Oh my god! But he was. I don't know if I didn't even told him. So if I were to get on Tinder, would I find you? And I was like, that account better be gone. That's all I'm and he's saying. All, and what the and hell like, are you doing on Tinder? Like it is. That's why I told him. Like, well, I wouldn't get one. But how do you deactivate the account? I'll find out for you. Yeah, find out if he's still on it, and then <laughs> tell me. He'd be like, hey, delete this damn thing. But I'm going to message him and be like, you need to delete this before Emily sees it. <laughs> be like, I found you. I found you. <laughs> <laughs> delete it, folks. Delete now. Anyway, those are my misadventures in dating. <laughs> to me, be continued. Let me see. We had, um, we had a list today. Let me go through the, the list. The love on the spectrum. So Iris last... on the view. Oh, Iris was on the view. Iris was on the view. <laughs> She went to the Bahamas. She went to the Bahamas. She could have been on the Buzz Adam show, but Buzz uh, let that one go. He swiped right, he swiped left. left. Okay, on Iris. Yeah, he messed that up. He really, and then he'll he pretends like I don't remember having her on in a mo- oh we did, and she was nice, and you were kind of mean, and you ruined it, and you, you ruined, ruined it, it for all of us. Uh, Love on the Spectrum. Buzz is watching Love on the Spectrum. Yeah, that was the only thing. It was like in relating to uh, if you have a great throw roll thruple off and you become a reality show you can go into love on the spectrum but there's been this whole argument is it okay to watch that kind of stuff okay i started watching it because buzz and lisa were talking about it a lot yeah and i thought at first like you know what this is really cute you know everybody is worthy of love yeah but then they do something quirky and i laugh (laughs) <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, am I awful for laughing at this? And now yeah. I feel like crap you, yeah. watching it. Are you the level of Buzz who subconsciously calls them freaks and he doesn't? Okay, I don't think notice. they're freaks. I did, I'm the one who told him, don't call. You're making it seem yeah, like they're freaks. You, yeah, because I had Buzz's thought process, and you kind of made me overthink it too. I was like, man, am I really like? Is it because I see them in a certain way? I don't feel like I do, but I don't watch that stuff anyway. I don't watch mm-hmm. The Bachelor. I don't watch any like I guess in any like sense that. watching things like The Bachelor or Rock of Love. I loved Rock Tila of Love. Tequila Tequila. You have to think of it as like freaks who yeah. are willing to go on TV and have for these, love. For love and think that oh, a rock star is going to fall in love with me. Yeah, or Flavor Flav. 
And you know that we only watch that for the antics, for the it silly was a, antics. Yeah, and so that's the way I saw Love on a Spectrum. I, I understand people are like, oh, it's sweet. We get to know their side. Yeah. But are we really getting to and know And then them? Buzz brought up this thing because there's one that's very, she's young. She's like 23. But her mindset is very much like, oh, I'm a Disney princess and stuff like that. And then you stop to think like, you know, they're like old enough to sign off. Do they really consent? Yeah. But do they really consent that. to yeah. it? Yeah. And, and I, I agree and with so that. And so now that's all that I have in the back of my head. Yeah. I'd be like, did they really consent? Do they have a guardian that has to consent? Is their guardian mm-hmm. gay money for consenting right? for them? So yeah, I, I've it gone makes, down that rabbit it make, hole. It's starting to make me feel a little icky. Yeah. I when all at first I thought like, this is the cutest thing ever. Yeah. And, and like, now I'm mm-hmm. just like, ugh, what's wrong with me? I feel bad. I feel really bad. <laughs> but and I'm also, poor. And I'm poor. <laughs> I'm not going to watch that. But if you want a camera, the way my mom and I were talking about it too, she's like, well, imagine they had a camera on you all the time. What are they going to show to people? The messed up stuff. Hell yeah, they are. So So when anyone's really on camera, yeah, aren't they kind of looking for your quirks or the stuff that people are going to laugh at at or or make fun of? Look at Snooky. Like, come on. That's the Kardashians. Yeah. So... Is reality TV rotting our brains? <laughs> yes. But do we want to get money for having cameras follow for us? For having a cool idea like, hey, yes. let's get a bunch of people who are on the spectrum and help them find love. Yeah, and it's like, that sounds good. Oh, and but the, is it? the way they talk about like finding love and dating. It it's makes so you hopeful. beautiful. Yes, and hopeful. And here I am on Bumble and I'm all, ugh, swipe left. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I need to watch it. Definitely doesn't make I, me appreciate it. I don't, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it. Uh, it's starting to make me feel a little icky because the whole time I'm all, these two are so young. Are they, may, they seem so young. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, who's consenting this? Yeah, I still feel icky, like, with The Bachelor and all that. Once I couldn't find the remote and it was on and they were fighting about who ate the shrimp. Now it's uh, like Did this they find is stupid. Out who ate I don't know because I finally found the remote and it was like <laughs> this is ridiculous. Who watches this? Who can watch The Bachelor yeah, or Bachelorette? Okay. Yeah, I was like this is dumb and they were fighting over the, she ate my shrimp and oh my, I can't do this anymore. Why? It's awful. Why is this making millions of dollars? It's like a specimen that you're just looking at. Yeah. Well, now I, I feel icky and I think Buzz for that because <laughs> I can't. Because he put that it. in your head. He did. Mm-hmm. And they were so cute at the beginning because I was like, look at they they really want to find some love. Not and they're so worthy of it. You know, they have so much love to give. Yeah. And now I'm just like, ugh. Maybe I, it gets better through the season. I'm going to finish it. Okay. Because I want to see if they find love. <laughs> Although there's this one chick that's already breaking up with people and I'm all, huh, that guy was perfect for you. Like she broke his heart. And oh, I'm all, see, you I bitch. Can't, yeah, no, I'm going to get all sad. And I'm all, know. you bitch. No. Mm -mm. I can't believe she did that. (laughs) No, give us an update. On today's end, you know, I'm on Bumble. Emily's married. Yeah. I am. You know, I got to stop getting throuple requests. (laughs) Yeah, let us know how that turns out. I will. We're Uh, invested now. (laughs) And we'll see what your new opening line is when we do our next I should ask Iris for some lines. You should. So that you know how she You should do a team up, yeah. You should do a team up. Iris, help me out with this. Yeah, what do I tell Guys, I'm gonna show her. This is the match. Tell me something that I can look at. That would be a good one. That'd be great. I like it. Yeah. Let's make it happen. All right. Well, I guess that concludes this episode. We've gone through all of the checks now. Woo! We're That's so organized. Yes. <laughs> Until next time, which we don't know when that will be. No one knows. The next time we find an open studio in this building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until then, I'm Joanna Barba. I'm Emily Murillo. Woo! <laughs> Not used to it still. You're so- Hey guys, time to get in on the action for the biggest moments in basketball with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projections, place your entry, and win up to 100 times your money. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use the code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy.